Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, for waking me up this morning. Father, I thank you for your love, for your kindness, for your mercy, and for your grace. Father, right now, I just put on the whole armor that belongs to you. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I soak my spouse, our children, our possessions, and our tribe with the blood of Jesus. I cover this day with the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your angels who have been released right now to assist us. Father, I thank you for the word of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your presence. Father, I thank you for another opportunity to lift up holy hands unto you in worship. Hallelujah. Father, please forgive me of all my sins and wash me with the redeeming, atoning blood of your son, Jesus. Father, forgive my spouse of all of his sins. Forgive our children. Forgive our tribe. Oh, God, forgive us. Father, renew the right spirit within us. Renew our minds, oh, God, with the word as we meditate upon your word day and night. Father, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this wonderful opportunity, oh, God, to share your word, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, you showed me the word boost. And so I just want to release the word boost upon us in the name of Jesus. And so boost means to push or shove up from below. And Father God, you say you are the lifter up of our heads. Father, you are the lifter of our heads, oh God. And you said that we are the head and not the tail above only, never beneath, oh God. And so I stand on the promises of Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. Father, you are boosting us right now, Father. You are boosting us and you boosting our spouse, our children, our tribe, Father God. You're pushing us deeper into our purpose, our godly purposes, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. You're taking us from below, Father God, and putting us up, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. We thank you for boosting up, for Father, for boosting us up, oh God. We are boosted in and you in the name of Jesus Christ to boost means to increase father boost our strength father boost our joy in the name of Jesus father um, boost our peace hallelujah father just boost our harmony favor victory father our restoration recovery insight revelation father boost our obedience in the name of Jesus Increase us in you, Father God. Father, boost our finances. Father, boost our ministries. Raise us up in you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. To boost means to promote the cause or interests of. Father God, we promote your word, your will. In the name of Jesus, we boost the word of God. We boost holiness. In the name of Jesus, to boost means to raise the voltage of or across an electric circuit. Father God, boost your dunamis power that's on the inside of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you for the, for the midnight prayer sessions that we're doing this week. Because you're going to boost us even more, oh God, into our greater purposes in you. Our marriages are receiving divine boosts from heaven. Our children, our ministries, our businesses, I decree and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Father, you are pushing us upward. I saw a church yesterday. It said upward. And Father, you have seen it before, but I thank you that boost means to push upward. And Father, you've been showing us the word ward, W-A-R-D. And so I thank you for the upward, Father God, forward. I thank you for the reward. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, to boost means to assist. Father, we thank you for your angels who are on assignment right now to assist us, oh God, to get our daily bread today. I decree and I declare that we receive our daily bread today, Father God, boost means to help or encourage something to increase or improve. Father, as we rally together in prayer, thank you for boosting our lives. It means to improve, to raise, to uplift, to increase, to magnify. Father, as we boost our praises unto you, as we magnify you, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the sovereign God. Father, as we boost 
our praises and prayer and worship unto you. You are boosting our lives. It means to swell. Our blessings are swelling up, being amplified, enhanced. Father, we are being encouraged in you, heightened, help, promote. Father, it means to foster. Father, you said kings and queens will be our foster parents and that we will drink the breast of royalty. Father God, drink from the breast of royalty. Father, because you are El Shaddai. All that we need is in you. You are our source and our resource and you are boosting us. It means to nurture. Father, you are taking care of us. This is confirmation from the marriage boot camp. This is confirmation from the marriage boot camp on Saturday. Father, you are nurturing us, fostering us in the name of Jesus. It means to invigorate. When you boost something, you invigorate it, revitalize it. Father, inspire. It means to perk up, to support. Father, I thank you for doing that for us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Boost means a source of help or encouragement leading to increase or improvement. It means to uplift, to lift, to spur, to encourage as encouragement. It means inspiration, stimulus, Father, to pick me up, Father, support. That's what you're doing today, Father. On the 10th day of February 2020, we are being boosted up, oh God, in you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. It reminds me of a booster um, seat for, for even the children to protect us, oh God. I thank you. I thank you, oh God, for elevation. It means to lift someone or something by pushing from below, boosting us, oh God. I thank you. You're boosting us up so we can see higher. Glory to God. Glory, you're elevating us, oh God, higher like the eagle, Father, no longer in the ashes, no longer in Lodabar. We are being elevated today to see you on a different level because, Father, the windows of heaven, they're open, the doors are open, and we're coming up to see. We're coming up higher like John in the book of Revelation, Father, so we can understand. You're giving, you're giving us download of wisdom, knowledge, understanding. You're giving us divine downloads today. Our children, you're boosting their faith in you. Our spouse, you're boosting their faith in you. Even us, oh God, favor upon us is being boosted up. I thank you for promotion, 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 promotion in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your word. And we can stand on a lot of scriptures. For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. No longer in the back. The last are not first. Glory to God. We stand on Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. 28 13. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top and never at the bottom. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 overshadow us now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, you are the lifter of our heads. Psalm 3 verse 3. Hmm. And we are fasting midnight, three days, resurrection, completion, Trinity. Father, I thank you for resurrection power that's getting ready to hit us where we shall be boosted, oh God, in the area of productivity. Father, we're giving birth. There's no more barrenness. Father God, we are fertile. We are producing. I thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 3 verse 3. But you, Lord, are a shield of around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. Father, let Psalm 3 verse 3 overtake us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it overshadow us. Let your Holy Spirit overshadow us, oh God, and boost our lives. Hallelujah. Our victory is boosted today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, you also show me edge. And so I thank you. <laughs> today I prophesy. Father, that you enlarge in our territory and that we are at the edge of a breakthrough and shall be boosted into our, our breakthroughs. We will not miss our opportunities, Father God, because we are standing still and seeing your deliverance in the name of Jesus and the Egyptians that we see today. We shall see them no more forever. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. Release your warrior and ministering angels now to help us, oh God. Edge means the outside limit of an object area or surface 
It's a place of a uh, part farthest away from the center of something. Father, I thank you that you are enlarging our borders. Isaiah 54, you said enlarge our territory, Father God. Even Jabez, you are enlarging us, Father, giving us the answers to our prayers, oh God, giving us the new houses that we never built, giving us the land that we never cultivated, Father God, because it's already been prepared for us in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 60, oh God, and Isaiah 61. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Even Isaiah 62, we stand on your word, oh God. We thank you, oh God, like Joshua, we going in, Father, to take over the land, a land flowing with milk and honey, and it's going to be by your power, by your miracles, oh God. Father, I thank you that you're fighting the battles for us. You are fighting the battles for us, and you are Yahweh Nisi, and so we wave the flag of victory today. Your banner over us is love. Hallelujah. When the enemy came in, Father God, you came in like a flood, oh God, and you washed them away and raised the standard, oh God, raising the banner of victory. Those who've been waiting on you, oh God, you are showing yourself strong in our situation, and you're boosting us. If I Father God, and enlarging us, oh God, because we are at the edge of a breakthrough and we're going all the way through in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it. I prophesy that my husband received breakthroughs today. Our children receive breakthroughs today. Those in the marriage boot camp, you receive your breakthrough today. God is boosting you. Those on the podcast, uh, I bless you. God is boosting you in the name of Jesus. Father God, you promised to bless those that bless me. Bless them, oh God, exceedingly and abundantly above all that can ever ask or think. Father, release royal blessings upon upon them in the name of Jesus Christ and my household as well. Glory to God. Edge means border, border, boundary. It, it, it means side, margin, brim. Father, our cups are overflowing. It, 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 it means um, circumference and perimeter. It means outline, limit. Father, there's no limit in you. You are enlarging us in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Um, a, a edge means the, the sharpened side of the blade of a cutting implement or weapon. Father, I thank you for the sharpening of two-edged sword word of God. We use it to cut up anything that's not of you, oh God. We use it to heal and we use it to, 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 to defeat the enemy. Father, sharpen us in the word, oh God. Help us to understand your word like never before, oh God. Give us revelation, insight in the name of Jesus Christ. We sharpen, we sharpen our, 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 our prayer lives, oh God. We sharpen our worship and obedience unto you, Father. And Father, we thank you, oh God. The edge of, 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 the, of, the, of the sword, both sides, oh God, both edges are sharpened, oh God. We have faith in you in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. God, I thank you for razor sharp edge in the word of God, in our faith, oh God, in our obedience, in our strength, in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. The word edge also means move gradually, carefully in, in a particular direction. Father God, thank you for giving us a, a more discernment, more wisdom, more discernment of spirits. Father, I thank you, oh God, for the ability to discern spirits. Thank you for, for divine wisdom, divine understanding. Father, I thank you, oh God. For, for for giving us that edge that edge means it, it means to um to, to 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 pick one's way father god we choose your way we choose your way. It means to advance slowly, to advance steadily. Father God, we advance steadily in you, oh God. F Father, as we're going into the promised land, Father God, we, we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be cautious, oh God. We're, we're not gonna speak everything, Father God. We're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be wise, oh God. Circumspect, Father. I thank you as we're going forward, oh God, inching our way, Father, into our breakthroughs, oh God. Father, I thank you for patience in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for divine strategies. Thank you, Father God, for showing us, oh God, methods, divine methods, Father, how to deal with our spouse, how to deal with our children, how to be promoted on our jobs, how to get our businesses to the next level, Father. I thank you for showing us how to keep our bodies healthy, how to keep our bodies healthy, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our eyes are open. Our eyes, are, Father, oh, boost our eyes. Father, open up our eyes, open up our ears, boost us, oh God. Give this, 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 stimulate us, oh God. Set us on fire for you. Set us ablaze even more, oh God, with your spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. And so that's what edge means. And I, I speak edge and I speak boost over us in the name of Jesus Christ. And I cover this prayer with the blood and there will be no backlash or retaliation of the devil. Father God, I thank you for miracle signs and wonders. 
Father, our car was in the was in the shop, the first um the first mechanic um place, the first shop um for like a month, and the guy didn't even charge us anything for checking the car and for storing the car. Father, that's favor. You're boosting our favor, Father God. I thank you. This is our season. This is our time of blessings. It's raining down upon us. We're standing beneath open heavens, and and then we took the car to another mechanic that was on Reservoir and Wall Street behind a church called Bethel. And Father God, he gave us the answer to the prayer. He he said they, they, there's a recall on, on your engine. And then from there, we, we brought it to Kia, Father God. This was last week. And, and, and the guy said the car will be ready um, in, a, in a week. And I said, no, Father God, let the car be ready before a week. The car was, in fact, um, sent back to us. Well, we picked it up before the seven days. And so, Father, I thank you that within the next few days, oh God, you're, you're boosting our blessings. Oh God, the answers are coming to us in the name of Jesus Christ. The things we've been praying for, those who have been fasting and praying, oh God. And I'm only speaking to those who've sent me to, Father God. I, I pray for them. I'm fasting and praying for those on the pod, Father, for those in the marriage boot camp, Father God, my family. I'm praying for divine healing, for, for divine productivity, for a boost, oh God, in those areas, oh Father, the things we've been praying for, for your will to be done in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God. I thank you for obedience, for a boost in our obedience, oh God, because we're at the edge of a breakthrough and we don't want to miss what you're doing, Father. The windows are open. I'm talking about the, the engine would be five to six thousand dollars. You gave it to us for free. And so favor is on our lives because we've been obedient to you because we waited on you and we continue to wait for you. And now we're going to get the new, the new, the new, the new, I've been saying new, 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 and it's coming, not just the car. Basically that's a new car. Father God, you're giving us the new houses and everything else that I've been praying for. I decree and I declare it in the name of Jesus. We're praying at midnight tonight. Father God, we ask that your Holy Ghost will be there waiting for us to boost us even more. Hallelujah enlarging our territory. Father, I thank you for showing me the word pinnacle. And, and I've been talking about crowning point, crowning point success for months on Facebook, even in my prayers. And the word of the day, um, I believe it was yesterday or two days ago, it was pinnacle. And I said, look at God. And Shavona, you was the first one to join our, our Wednesday night school that we have. I call it school because the Holy Spirit gave us so much. And as an educator, you know, I'm a teacher. So yes, God said, I, I, I do have a school. And so I'm calling it such as the Lord says it, okay? So um, Shavona, you were the first one. And you know, we talk about Isaiah 54 and God fulfilled that word, pinnacle. And so pinnacle means the, the most successful point, um, the most successful point. God is taking us, <laughs> boosting us. Beyond the most successful point, it means the highest level. I'm talking about the highest level of, of praying and, 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 and faith and blessings and loving the marriage, blessings for our children. It means height. God is elevating us. It says um, top, climax, zenith, zenith the vertex, um, this, 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 those words, um, acme, high point, pointed piece of rock, the peak, okay, the summit, the top. That's that's what the word means. It, it, it's also um, it says um. Let me let me get it. I know it's a part of a building. It's it's an upright. See upright, righteous, living right, an upright architectural member, generally ending in a small spire and used especially in Gothic construction to give weight, especially to a buttress. Father, I thank you for re rebuilding us. Rebuilding us, Father, in, in your word. I thank you that this goes with our marriage boot camp theme. I thank you for, for, for these confirmation. Hallelujah. Pinnacle means um a structure, a structure um, or formation suggesting the pinnacle. Father, it's the highest point of development or achievement. I prophesy pinnacle over us and our children, Father God, and our spouse and, and our tribe. You're taking us beyond, beyond, be boosting us beyond the highest point of development an achievement in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for the cornerstone, Jesus Christ. Father God, we are built upon the rock. We are built up upon the rock, oh God, and the cornerstone and it's Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, Father, I thank you because you can you can see the pinnacle. It's like pointed. It's so high up. Father, I thank you that we're no longer below. Father God, we are above. Hallelujah. And pinnacle means um crown. It says crown, the crown and point. Okay, Father, I thank you that we have the royal diadem, the 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 um the, the the beautiful crown for our ashes. Hallelujah. Um, pinnacle means the head. Father, you said we are the we are the, we are the head. Father, I thank you. 
<laughs> you're boosting us from below to above. Father, making us the head and not the tail in all areas of our lives. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It also means noontime. And Father, I thank you that at noontime, Father, 12, representing your governmental foundation, your authority, your power, your kingdom, Father, your, your people, number 12. I thank you, oh God, that we shall see great miracle signs and wonders, oh God, at, 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 at noon, at midnight as well, Father, number 12. And we're praying at midnight, Father God. I thank you that things are changing for us at noon. Hallelujah. The sun will not smite us by day nor the moon by night. We are blessed in the morning, blessed in the night, blessed when we go out, blessed when we come in. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 is our birthright. I thank you. Um, pinnacle means high water. Father, it, it says high water mark. The word is our water. The Holy Spirit is our water. And we're and Father, we're marked by the Holy Spirit. Is our seal. He guarantees us, Father, of our salvation. I thank you that we are high. Father God, high in the spirit, Father God. We're elevated in you. High water mark. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have the mark of the blood of Jesus. We're in covenant with you, Father, and you will fulfill your word concerning us in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Ha. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so that's pinnacle. And then let's go to um, Isaiah 54. And you can read that on your own, but it talks about pinnacle. Isaiah 54, verse 12. They're going to number 12 again. And so it says, that God is going to rebuild us, you know, with rubies and, 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 and precious stones. Amen. Hallelujah. I will make your pinnacles out of gems. God has given us the gem blessings, the rubies, the diamonds. And it says our gates will be beryl. Our, our, our gates will be sparkling jewels. And you know, gate represents what? Blessings. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up. Come on now. You know the word. Psalm 24. The king of glory is coming in. The gates are open. Breakthrough. We're on the edge of a breakthrough. The gates are open. The windows are open. The doors are open. Who is it? Jesus. Father is making a way out of no way for us in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll make your pinnacles of rubies and your gates of sparkling jewels and your walls of precious stones. And God said, enlarge your territory. And he said, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you have a right to condemn. That's Isaiah 54, 17. The whole chapter is powerful. It says, sing thou barren woman, the, the one who never conceived. God said, great shall be your children. God said, no more barrenness. Come on, you read that chapter. No more barrenness. God is boosting our blessings. We shall sing. See the manifestation in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you for everybody who so into this word. Father God, begin to bless them the way that you just blessed us. Oh my goodness. Father, I thank you for Isaiah 54 in the name of Jesus. If you believe the word of God, one strategy the Lord gave me last year, he said, so into me, a soul, keep on sowing your seed. I've been doing that. And God gave me a brand new engine. My husband and I. Because we gave, we kept on giving, even when we didn't have it, we gave and we gave and we're still giving because you plant the, you plant the seed and I gave my seed a name. I name it. I, I told God specifically what I wanted him to do when I gave the money and God been blessing me. And so I invite you to sow into the word of God. Whenever the, whenever you come into agreement with it, you sow your seed. You don't got to listen to me. I'm just a messenger. I've done it. I do it. And it works in the name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed, victorious ones. God is great. If you have not registered for our podcast, I'm inviting you once again to sign up so you can get unlimited prayers, unlimited teaching. Okay. God is great. And those of you who want to sow, I'm going to put the uh, information for you to sow. If you don't want to sow, that's fine too. Still bless. <laughs> and God is still going to move mightily for those who are, who are obedient. And, and, and uh, to him. Amen. And that's all that it, it matters that all that that's all that all that matters is being obedient to God. Follow the Holy Spirit. Follow the word of God. Amen. And I will talk to you guys later. I'm so fired up. I received my boost and I'm at the edge of a breakthrough and I'm excited in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I thank you. I thank you for blessings coming to us. Oh, God, who at noon and midnight. When Paul and Silas prayed and worship you at midnight, the prison doors opened up. Father, I thank you that you destroyed the firstborn of Egypt at midnight, the firstborn sons. And Father, you're doing great things for us at 12. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. 54. 
54. 5 is grace. 4 is direction and the changing of seasons in our lives. And so, Father, I thank you. Even 50 represents the Holy Spirit and, and Jubilee <clears throat> and Pentecost. And then, Father, number four, the, 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 the different seasons. And this is this, Father, this is our Kairos moment. And, Father, we have the Spirit, oh, God, the, 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 um, the, the Holy Spirit. And then we have the, the Issachar anointing. We know what time it is. You're doing great things. <laughs> Nobody gets a free engine. <laughs> A brand new one. Hallelujah. Nobody stores their car in a shop that, that the man checked the car for days and stole the car for days and, 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 and did it for free. Father, I thank you for favor. You told me we were going to recover it all. We did a lesson on, in our school on Wednesday. And two weeks later, you said we're going to recover it all. The tow truck that was bringing our car to um, the, the second mechanic, the tow truck said recovery. And the recovery tow truck parked at Reservoir and Wall behind Bethel Church. And Father God, you're releasing the Reservoir blessings and every Jericho wall is, is crumbled and you are rebuilding our walls, oh God, with the beautiful stones. You just said, the walls of salvation. You're rebuilding the walls of our lives with precious stones. Father, because we're in the house of the Lord and we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And Father, you're using us to, to demonstrate your power. And so I thank you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for 54. 54. Father, we're standing on Isaiah 54. That was the first teaching you gave us for, for, for our school on Wednesdays. And Father, you've been confirming the word ever since. I thank you for rebuilding us, oh God, with precious stones. Precious stones, the marriage, the children, our businesses, our ministries. I'm talking about value because we are a royal priests of the holy nation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you. I, I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And so I, I, I just want to um, see if I can pull up something really quickly. Father, I love you. I adore you. And so um, yesterday I was posting about royal blessings and father, I just thank you. You, you even um, show me the word extra on my phone. The word extra popped up and, and, you know, extra, it means added to an existing or usual, usual amount. Father God, you are giving that extra blessing, boosting us to give us the extra. It's, it's the added blessing. Father God, you said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness and all that we need will be added unto us. And you're adding the, 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 um, the valuable and precious blessings to us, the diamond blessings, Father, the sapphire blessings, the sapphire blessings, the ruby bless blessings. Um, it, I thank you, oh God, because extra, um, it, it even talks about to a greater extent. Father, because you're enlarging our territory. It, it means peculiar. Father, I thank you that we are peculiar people, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Ephesians 3.20, Father, you said, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. And the power is the Holy Spirit. And so I speak extra blessings over us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for Revelation 5.10. You said, And have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Father God, I thank you that we are royalty. And royal blessings are overtaking us in the name of Jesus Christ, according to 1 Peter 2, 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priest of the holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful and marvelous light. Isaiah 60, verse 16, you suck the milk of nations, you suck the breast of kings, then you will realize that I, the Lord, am your savior and your redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. And in Isaiah 49, 23, and kings shall be your nursing fathers and their queens, your nursing mothers. And they shall bow down to you with their face toward the earth and lick up the dust of your feet. And you shall know that I am the Lord for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. And so father, that is your word. Royal blessings are coming upon us. You're boosting the royal blessings upon our lives. And it's happening at superluminal speed, faster than the speed of light. Father God, I thank you that we're on the edge of a breakthrough in all areas of our lives. And so we're fasting at midnight, fasting and praying, Father, to, to, to push all the way through. 
because we're giving birth to our promises in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Be blessed, victorious ones. Share this and um, also share the pod information with those who are looking for prophetic teaching. All we do is, is prophesy, you know, being taught by the Holy Spirit, praying prophetically, just, just teaching prophetically. It's been powerful in the name of Jesus. And so register for the premium content. The premium, yes, the premium is the one that's unlimited. <laughs> and so um, share it with everybody. And um, you can also sow your seed um, on PayPal or Cash App or whatever. It doesn't matter. So be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God.